In chapter 2 of 1 Timothy, he turns to sharing with Timothy about prayer and about the incredible breadth of God's grace available to everyone through Jesus Christ. Our verses of the day are chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, where Paul writes the following. He says, This is right and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Uh, Paul is stating here that God's hope, God's desire, is that every single human being would be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth that is in Christ Jesus. Uh, sometimes people can think, well, God's only interested in a, in a few people. And there is the whole concept of the elect or the chosen. But that's also counterbalanced in the Bible by this idea of God's love and God's desire being so vast. And God wants everyone to be saved. That's what Paul says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. So I'm not going to dispute that. I'm going to believe that and accept that. And, but how are people going to come to know this truth? if you and I don't share it with them. And one of the primary purposes of the church, uh, one of the primary things you and I are called to as individual Christians, is we both want to know God our Savior. We want to know the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Uh, we want to know that truth, and we want to live that truth in our own lives but we're also called to share it. Uh, I was been in communication the last several days with somebody who's trying to help the church that he's a part of, which is struggling and has been in decline and uh, is having some disagreements and trying to help write that church and get it set on a better direction. And one of the things I shared with them is that, you know, if every member of that church, if every member of our church did just a couple things. If every member was praying for the church, if every member of the church is praying for one person they know who doesn't know Christ, who doesn't regularly attend a local church, if each person was tithing or moving towards tithing and sharing of their financial resources, and if every member, if every person who attended that church was serving in some ministry even for just one hour a week, it would transform that church. It would transform our church. It would transform any congregation. If the members are praying and giving and serving and sharing the truth that we have in Christ Jesus, that's how individual lives are transformed and that's how congregations and churches are revitalized and grow.